but stroke can happen to anyone at any time. Please call 911. It's better to be safe than sorry. They have hope in me, the people who donate, and it gives us hope that there is a cure and someone searching for it. All in all, you know, life isn't fair and that's why I'm here and I'm glad I'm here and it's getting better every day. I think more women should be involved in Go Red because the reality is, you know, it could happen to people that we know or it could happen to somebody. I just feel like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. They came from all over. California. Dallas, Texas. Indianapolis. Denver. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Washington, D.C. To the house that Prince built. We come out because we love Prince, we love the revolution. For a purple pilgrimage. The revolution is so special because of Bobby Z, Wendy, Lisa, Matt, Mark, and Bobby. Of course, I said Bobby already, but definitely Bobby Z. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, our godfather of the band had to have a major heart attack to get us to go, oh, we better hurry up and do this. Even after all these years, the heart of the band is beating as strong as ever. And at least on this special night, the revolution isn't over just yet. It's biking across America. Chris stopped at Red Pine Elementary in Egan this morning and talked to the kids about his adventure. As Lauren Casey shows us, Chris wants kids to be heart healthy. This is my fifth trip now going across the country for the American Heart Association. And I, I bicycle back and forth coming to elementary schools to speak to those kids about living a healthy and active lifestyle. It's one of those things you don't think will ever happen to you. She was just 18, walking toward this exit at her job in Forever 21. And on my way to the break room, where I would have been by myself and alone, I collapsed. Her mission to educate young people, because none of the employees around her that day knew CPR. Now she's helping the American Heart Association with a bill to require high school students to learn CPR before graduation. You rely on it every second of every day, but how often do you think about your heart? This morning, several thousand people did at the American Heart Association's Heart Walk at Target Field. The goal? To get you moving and keep your heart healthy. We heard from one walker born with a heart condition who got a heart transplant two years ago. Well, it's amazing. I'm walking in the American Heart Walk, and that's something I couldn't even think of before. So it's been an ex incredible experience. The event raised money for heart disease and stroke research.
It's a great thing to do. I walk. I walk. I give. I give. I live heart healthy. I walk. I give. I live heart healthy. Woo!